Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's back to farming and working. So, got a bunch of things today, and we'll start off with a typical day in the life, I guess. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Got some trucking to do this morning, and of course I haven't worked on my white truck, so the batteries are dead as dead. I'll get around to it, just not enough time in the day, so we'll hook up the battery charger, let it get a little charge on it, go pick up a load of sawdust. Um, I gotta pick up wheels actually for this. Battery charger on. Yeah, if you go back to previous videos, I said I gotta put, I gotta figure out why it doesn't charge the battery. Um, if it's a regulator, if it's the battery itself. And then putting some air in this tire because I haven't had enough time to actually figure out where it's leaking from. So every three weeks I gotta fill up my tire, which is a awesome experience. Not bad. I do have spare tires, I just don't want to use them yet. So we'll let that fill up. And then uh, get this bad boy started. I think one tire needs a little bit of air. This one. I'm actually going to get four more tires for this that has good tread from the same guy. I got five. I got four tires and rims and one rim. Previously, I traded 230 racks for it. Um, is a Facebook marketplace, Bobby Seidel, uh, t tagged me in a post and I went down and got him. So, um, the guy actually messaged me, he said, I got four more, you want them? 430 racks. I said, well, rims are 120 and the tires are good, that's why he wants two more 30 racks, you know, but I'm down for that. Um, so, gotta do that and then I'll have I'll, I'm gonna put street tires on here so I can get an inspection sticker this spring with it um, Since tires are all good just got little things to do and this truck should be good for an inspection sticker. So always trying but. Got the battery charger hooked up Got my brother's pickup hooked up. Let's give it a try now. If there's one thing I really don't like, it's wiring. So I really gotta pull this in and figure it out. But granted, when it's 20 out, I really don't wanna be messing around wiring outside. So, wait on a warm day to figure out why those batteries don't really charge. You hook up voltage in a battery charger and away it goes. So, we'll figure it out. Let's go get this trailer. So, been one of them mornings where nothing goes right. At least it's not brutally cold, but we're loaded up. We're gonna go do a little bit of trucking this morning and see where our day gets to. Got floaters on still, cause as I said, I gotta go get four more tires. This will give you an idea of the other end of our road as far as uh, why it's so tight and narrow. I don't bring truck and trailers down here. I try not to bring farm equipment down here. Cause people just don't pay attention and you end up in some bad spots. I'm sure the windshield's still dirty. Like that person's parked half in the road.
that's how we do it. longer for around here especially for I'm not a truck driver but oh look everything's frozen to it so we'll get this jacked up check our lights check that we're all hooked up good put tires on there and then we'll uh, venture back to the farm so this thing's long it's tall we've got narrow roads low trees so there's a lot to look out when you're doing this like I said I'm not actually a truck driver, but we'll fake it till we make it, right people? Marker lights. Yeah. More marker lights. Oh, we're frozen on there. So they blow into this. I don't actually know what they do. Um my father knows. But they blow into this and then we come and pick it up. We're good to go. I did put some air in this tire here. I thought I had enough air, but it's looking a little low. It'll be good to get us home, but gotta do that. I think I need to put new rear brake cans on too. I think that's on my list. They're the old style still. So what you do first is disengage the truck and uh, try to give it a pull. So we're locked in there, the trailer's still applied, so now we'll release the trailer. What that's doing is actually checking that your kingpin's locked in um, without driving away and having it not locked in. And well, usually the trailer leaves you at that point, but we don't want that, right? What are you doing? So left him for five days. He's a little butt hurt about that. Yes, last night he was pumped to see me. He does like trucking. You like trucking? Hey, come here. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Come on. Say hi, everybody. You're famous, bud. Yeah. Alrighty. So I'm a one-man show here. I got somebody coming to help me. But I pulled it out. Everything was good. Aired it up. And then all of a sudden, I started losing air pressure. I know their seals are bad. But I can't tell if it's leaking there or where it is exactly leaking. So I got somebody coming with parts because, well, thread tape, some stuff, and a second set of ears so they can hear when I'm working the brakes where it's leaking. Yeah, it will be a quick trip today. Just jump over there and get it. So, I don't know. If push comes to shove, I'm going to unthread this and thread it right to the trailer. Rubber's bad in here. I can see right inside it's split in half and uh, it's just leaking out the side. So, easy fix, but I took all my tools out of here because I cleaned everything for the winter and well, I don't have any tools, otherwise I'd have it back on. I gotta put a toolbox on this and uh, stock it full of tools like the chopper is. Well, I had no seals. It's the seal on the trailer acting up. Um, We got it taped up so it pretty much doesn't leak on the trailer side of it. So I can get it home and try to take everything apart. My father went for some seals. Well, I'm not really that proud of this moment. It did get me home so that I could fix it at home with all the tools. Yeah. We taped the leaks. It worked. It doesn't leak. But I probably wouldn't go more than a few miles with that. So. What 
holiday. Let's see how full they got this one. This thing pulls a lot harder than my manure tank. Oh, what are you doing, guys? They left a lot in the back open. Looks full up front, though. So they got two tubes that blow in. They got this one here that blows way up, and then this back one. Maybe they're only blowing with the one side. It looks like it, so. Got the seal. Father went and got me one seal. I need two. I'll probably end up popping them out of my tr out of the tank here or something. But yeah, let's get this backed up and done. So actually, a lot of people ask why we don't have a live bottom trailer walking floor to unload it. We don't own this trailer, and I don't want a headache of owning somebody else's trailer and then having to deal with it. So works out slick. We don't have very much invested in it, so if it fell apart, if the, the sawdust stopped coming or whatnot happening, then we wouldn't have to do nothing. Like we wouldn't have this random trailer. Because every time you have a trailer, you gotta deal with tires, brakes, stuff like this. Old part, all deformed on the side. New part, nice and round. There we go. So that just pops in there. I'm gonna need two hands to do that. But pop that in, we'll make sure it airs up. happy except I shut my truck off for one second the batteries are absolute junk and it won't even start so we'll have to jump start it when we get back on <sighs> glad I didn't shut it off and I was waiting I thought about it what goes on here is the skid steer slides into the trailer and unloads it and like I said it's not the most efficient way but we don't own the trailer and I don't want to own the trailer I'm sure, yeah, we could go buy a live bottom trailer and get into that side. Maybe someday we will, but I don't want those headaches. So, skid steer goes in, he shovels it out, we're loading into the manure spreader that's right there, um, and he's dumping underneath the roof, and I'm just taking, taking it in between. I fit two buckets, so nothing major, um, but then I push up the pile that he's leaving underneath where we store our sawdust so not the most efficient way but we have very low costs associated with this current way and that's kind of key because sawdust can be an extreme cost um, yeah we bought loads from people and that just gets extremely expensive i don't know what sawdust is bringing right now um 500 000, i don't know tractor trailer load i guess let me know if you guys buy sawdust and we could do sand but we don't want sand in the current facility mark don't run into oh. he just runs into the stuff with the tractor so it works it takes us some time but i don't know running a trailer and owning a trailer is expensive everything's expensive and then we jet on over here. And uh, I know it's got dirty, dirty windows. So I just roll right up in here. We put two big bales of straw there just to keep some out. And it also helps because we feed straw out of the out of there. We store all our straw bales. So. We've been doing this with sawdust since my time before my time so we did clear this room so it used to be half the size and things like that we punched that wall bigger so that we can get the skid steer in that was one day we did that lotus first load of straw we ever bought um my father wasn't here and uh i got sick of trying his ideas and I took the chainsaw out and cut a hole in the wall and he was not pleased but ever since then it's worked it's worked, I guess. Well, yeah, it's worked because 
we get the equipment in and out of there pretty easy now. We store stuff in there, but. All right, I gotta focus. I gotta finish up doing this. The turbo was never ordered for the skid steer, so I'm not gonna get to that this weekend like I wanted to. And then, uh, so that won't run for until he orders that. But I do got four tires to go pick up for this truck, and I gotta get this truck moved back over, or the trailer dropped back off. So, I've got a busy day still. Francisco's just finishing up. What are you doing? Some sawdust for a while. So the jumper cable's on, and away it goes. So, just gotta figure out why those batteries don't charge, because then they die. But. It's getting chilly. It's supposed to get down in single digits, I think, tonight. So, it's getting windy. It's one big party. Hold up, gotta pull that big block out. I think I gave myself, yeah, I said, yeah, I gave myself enough room. There you go, it's empty. So, like I said, they blow up that pipe and it blows all in the front. That's why the back, they're not switching to the other side. Uh, which side goes first? guys enjoyed that nothing today went as planned but i gotta go get those tires um get you guys on the next video thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so have a good one tonight's score Ooh they got some tread on them